India is building an international container transshipment port in the Galafia Bay of the Great Nicobar Island, and it is expected to bring significant benefits for the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the proposal to develop the port in 2020, during the inauguration of the submarine optic fiber cable linking Chennai and Port Blair. The port will address the poor infrastructure and lack of deep drafts at India's ports, which have hindered maritime logistics for decades. And reduce the country's dependence on foreign transshipment hubs, such as Colombo, Singapore and Klang, which account for 25% of all containers originating from India. The dependence on foreign ports is a disadvantage as it leads to a loss of potential revenues, increases the cost incurred by the Indian industry. and presents a potential national security challenge due to China's increasing influence in the Indian Ocean. Developing a major transshipment hub in India is, therefore, a necessity. The lack of deep drafts at India's ports has made it increasingly challenging to compete globally, as the size of vessels around the world continues to increase every few years. Most major ports on India's east coast and some on the western coast do not have adequate draft, with the depth at berth and channels at most of these ports ranging between 8 to 12 meters. This has limited the size of vessels that can come to Indian ports and made transshipment a necessary process. Transshipment involves offloading cargo from one ship and loading it onto another vessel to be carried to the final port of discharge. For India's case, incoming cargo is unloaded from large ships at a transshipment hub and loaded onto smaller ships to be carried to ports that cannot handle large vessels due to low draft. Outbound cargo from Indian ports that cannot handle large vessels is unloaded from small ships at the transshipment hub and loaded onto larger ships going to the destination port. Transshipment adds to the cost incurred by the Indian industry, as the cost of the feeder voyage to end from Indian ports to the transshipment hub, and the cost of handling the cargo, are added to the transshipped cargo. Industry estimates put the burden of transshipping through Colombo for Indian shippers at $200 to $250 per container unit on average. If transshipment hubs are built in India, much of this will go to Indian ports and result in job creation. The proposed transshipment hub in Galathea Bay has a depth of 18 to 20 meters to handle large ships. The floor of the bay is rocky, which means that the port will not require dredging, a recurring operating cost. The island straddles the east-west sea route, which is one of the busiest maritime trade routes in the world, and is located almost equidistant from the existing transshipment hubs of Colombo, Port Klang and Singapore. The island lies around 8 nautical miles away from the route, and the deviation time for shipping to reach the proposed port will be less than an hour. The development of the transshipment port in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands is expected to bring significant benefits to India. It will reduce the country's dependence on foreign transshipment hubs, increase potential revenues, reduce the cost incurred by the Indian industry, and address national security concerns. The port will create job opportunities, boost trade and economic growth, and improve connectivity, global supply chains, and ease of doing business. It will also enhance India's position as a major player in the global maritime trade and help the country compete effectively in the global market. The project will, therefore, have far-reaching implications for India's economy and its place in the world.